who doesn't enjoy seeing a man wearing only a loincloth. From Tarzan to Bamba, and even other characters inspired by them, Hollywood has enough loincloth hunks for everyone. Here are our picks for this week's top 10 video, featuring actors portraying loincloth wearing characters inspired by Tarzan. Antonio Sabato Jr. is an Italian-born American model and actor. And he is no stranger to showing skin. He has starred in countless movies and TV series, and one thing's for sure, he's bound to go shirtless. Not that we're complaining, quite to the contrary. He has also portrayed several gay characters, much to the joy of gay fans. We just wished he played Tarzan. Oh wait, he's on our list for a reason. This handsome actor portrayed a character in a loincloth in the 2009 low-budget movie, John Carter of Mars. Created by the independent movie studio, The Asylum, the movie John Carter of Mars was panned by critics. Were you aware this movie even existed? I'm sure I'm not the only one who tried to sneak a peek during the jumping scenes. That loincloth got in the way though. Taylor Kitsch is a Canadian actor and model who shot to stardom in 2006. He starred in the 2006 movie, The Covenant. Do you remember it? How about now? Despite being panned by critics, The Covenant was a moderate box office success and helped Kitsch reach greater success in his career. As from now. As for right this second, there's a new dynamic at play. To many, his biggest blockbuster was the 2012 film, Battleship, but his most epic movie went under the radar of most moviegoers. In 2012, two months before the release of Battleship, Kitsch were very revealing attire for the Disney adaptation, John Carter. Hello. Your body, you your body, you stand by me. This might get dangerous. Though the Disney adaptation had a bigger budget than the Antonio Sabato Jr. film, it was a massive box office bomb due to poor marketing. This film was more faithful to the source material by Edgar Rice Burroughs, who also created the massively popular Tarzan. Carl Urban put on let's call it traditional attire for the 2007 film Pathfinder. The film currently holds a 9% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, but that's okay. We got to see Urban's handsome body for the majority of the film. Before we continue, we publish videos every Saturday and Sunday. So remember to click like and subscribe. Also, if you enable notifications you'll be the first to know whenever we post new videos. We also love hearing from you, so please leave a comment. Now back to the video. Reb Brown is a former football player and actor. He starred in the 1983 cult film, Yor, the Hunter from the Future. The plot was simple, Yor is a hunter from a prehistoric future. Though the film was one of director Antonio Margariti's most financially successful films, it received poor reviews. But who cares? We got to watch a man running around in the future wearing only a loincloth. Freak! See yourself! Get moving! The film was considered so bad, it was nominated for three Golden Raspberry Awards in 1984. Worst new star for Reb Brown, worst musical score, and worst original song. Reb Brown was told by producers he had to maintain his muscular physique during the six months of shooting. Due to the remote set there was no exercise equipment for him to work with, so he ended up doing a minimum of 1,000 push-ups and sit-ups every second day. Have you ever heard of Asif Mohammed Seth? You're not alone, but he did portray one of the few ethnically correct Jungle Boy characters. The aptly named film, Jungle Boy, was his only screen credit. Critics called it a cheap and cheesy rip-off of the Jungle Book and hardly anyone saw it when it came out. His brooding demeanor was enough for me to stay glued to my screen. Have you ever seen this movie? Let us know in the comments. Johnny Sheffield starred in a total of 12 Bamba films from 1949 to 1955. Critics all agreed that Tarzan now had a formidable rival with the popular Bamba series. 
Johnny Sheffield retired from acting in 1955 at the age of 24. Am I the only one who thinks 12 Bamba films were not enough? Is it just me, or did Bamba have a wardrobe malfunction during this wrestling scene? Many fans probably not only had a poster of Bamba up against their bedroom wall, but also wished he'd wrestle them like this. What are your thoughts on this entry? Let us know in the comments section whether you had a crush on Johnny Sheffield's body, I mean Bamba. Jason Scott Lee is an American actor and martial artist. He's probably best known for playing Moog Lee in Disney's 1994 live-action adaptation of The Jungle Book. Though English author Rudyard Kipling wrote The Jungle Book decades before Edgar Rice Burroughs wrote Tarzan, we felt Jason Scott Lee definitely belongs on this list. The film strayed from its source material, and yet audiences loved it and the movie was a moderate financial success. It even had a spin-off video game, released in 1996. Nearly three decades later, this movie has an 80% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. We're quite sure Lee and his loincloth is the reason. Mark Singer is a Canadian-born American actor and is best known for his role as Dar in Beastmaster. Armed with special powers, the handsome hero and his animal allies wage war against the forces of evil. The 1982 film spawned two sequels, as well as a syndicated television series. The series was a success and ran for three seasons, winning several awards in the process. Though Mark Singer had been acting since 1978, Beastmaster was the film that made him famous, and we can see why. Please stay tuned for a bonus entry after we reveal our number one spot. Miles O'Keefe got his first big break playing the title role in the 1981 version of Tarzan, The Ape Man. After starring in what is considered to be one of the worst movies ever made, he went on to star in Adder, The Fighting Eagle, as well as its sequels. The plot is a fantasy revenge story, and though critics were harsh in their reviews, we still watched these horrible movies for O'Keefe's handsome body. You probably saw this one coming. Brendan Fraser was by far the best character inspired by Tarzan. Originally inspired by Tarzan, as well as the World War II minesweeper and bodybuilder, George Eiferman, the series ran for 17 episodes in 1967. But for this list, we're focusing on Fraser's George. The 1997 Disney film adaptation of George of the Jungle helped a lot of guys realize they were gay. The plot was silly but fun, and we just couldn't take our eyes off of George. Hi. Hi. I got here as fast as I could. Where is he? He's under the water. He's in the shower. Not anymore. <gasps> George. Oh, bad waterfall. First water get hot, and then George slipped on the strange yellow rock. Oh. Hi. George of Jungle. Do you agree that Brendan Fraser should be number one? Leave us a comment. And because you watched the entire video, here is a bonus entry. Though technically not inspired by any work relating to Tarzan, we felt Stephen Strait belongs on this list. In 2008's 10,000 BC, he starred as a prehistoric man on a journey to save the love of his life while wearing a loincloth. Can you think of any actors who portrayed cavemen or native characters whom you'd like to see featured in an upcoming video? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to click like and subscribe. Also, check out some of the other videos on this channel.